So what's up you guys? Uh, so we're out here um, fishing Ventura. Gonna go check out the harbor. Got a little bit of time after work. We're gonna go check out, uh, it's low tide, so we're gonna go check out the um, the jetty there and see if we can uh, walk it at the bottom now that it's uh, low tide right now. So might be able to walk it and we'll have to stand on the rocks and see if we can get into them. So we'll see you out there. All right, guys, we're here. One of the local beaches in Ventura. And we got low tide, so I'm able to walk the bottom of the jetty here. Usually do pretty good in this spot from the rocks. So we're gonna give it a try right now that the tide's low and I'm able to take advantage of uh, coming down at the bottom of the sand here. And uh, see if we can't get into them. So I got my uh, Kuma 10-7 rod, Hawaiian custom with my uh, Okuma Californian right there. I got 10 pound braid with a three pound leader and I'm using a Carolina setup with a uh, three quarter ounce weight. There we go, first cast. Usually catch uh, a lot of perch here, a lot of croaker. So uh, we're gonna see if we can't get into them. Water looks pretty good, nice and clear over here. Little breeze. We'll just work our way down this uh, jetty here as long as we can before the water starts to come back up. It's, it's outgoing tide still, so we should still be pretty good. I'm using a uh, paddle tail by uh, 805 Custom Baits. It is the motor oil. Usually do pretty good with that bait, with perch and uh, croaker and everything else. So yeah, we're just gonna keep working our way down this beach here. Now that we have access to the bottom, we don't have to worry about getting stuck. Like I found a little small hole here that's holding some fish. Getting some bites. See if we can pull one out of there. See what we got. If they're yellowfin or if they're. Uh, Perch. Back in the bottom, I can feel a lot of grass or debris down there. Just to the left of me, there's like a, a dark cloud in the water. I'm thinking it's a lot of debris, so this might not be a good spot. We might have to switch it up here. Maybe move to the other side of the jetty towards the beach side. And uh see what we got over there but we'll give it a little bit longer here and if not we'll walk down that way and try it all right fish on you guys little guy probably the one that's been playing with this whole time we got him to stick this time. 
We'll get them in and see if they're in the bigger one out there. Still using the 805 baits. Little perch. Not bad. First one. Got a bigger one out there. Little ones are fun to catch when it's a slow day, but we want the big ones. Just turned my GoPro off and got another bite. Little guy. Little, little bigger than the last one, but. Not too much, but they're getting bigger. Oh, stop there, guy. A little perch. See how the tail's bitten off? But they're still, they're still getting bit, so I gotta leave it on there. Save me from having to switch out more baits. As long as they keep working, that's all that matters to me. Alright guys, we're on something decent here, it feels like. Still on. Started fishing the jetty here, you guys. And getting a lot of bites. And I just got a nice hit right now. Not too sure what it is. Might be a croaker or something. Let's see what it is. If I can get it up without losing it. Uh, yeah, real nice croaker. If I can get them in without breaking my line, I'm only using five pound test, you guys. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Oh! I'm going to break off on the rocks, please. Okay, you guys. We got ourselves a big fat Corbina. I don't lose them in the rocks. Maybe. One, two, one, three. Don't break me off. There you go, you guys. We got him. There he is. Little small Corbina, he's probably about, uh, I'd say about 15 inches or so on the 805 baits, you guys. Right there. Oh, all right, let's get him go. Hopefully, see if we can get another one. There he goes, you guys. He was kind of out there deep. Got him on the 805 bait, you guys. Just uh, Carolina rigging it, and he went for it. So we're gonna stick to this little spot here and see if we can uh, get another one. I did catch a little bit of perch before him. Nothing, nothing to brag about, small guys. But uh, we're getting them. Getting a little wet, but it's worth it if we're catching some guys like that. So, let's see if we can't get another one. Try it again, you guys. Looks like another decent one. Let's see what we got here. Kind of feels like a perch. Coming in pretty easy. 
but we'll see. It's a decent perch if it is. Right, second cast right after that. Okay, so yeah, got a nice little uh, maybe 10, 11 inch perch. Little five baits, you guys. Go get them. They work. Catch a lot of fish on these baits, you guys. Using the original a motor oil color, the paddle tail. I know uh, the owner Joey uh, just came out with. Uh, I believe he calls them super red and he also came out with some uh, some with a really uh, like a darkish uh, silver glitter and black I'm not sure what, he, what he's calling them I'm not sure if those are out yet but uh, you can get them online 805 custombaits.com or if you're local here in Ventura you can get them at Eric's Taco Shop And they catch pretty much everything you guys i've that's right here on the surf i've caught in uh perch corbina i've even caught in uh bat ray on them <laughs> so they kind of catch a variety so. Got my waders on so I'm not getting too wet, but I'm not that far from the surf on the other end, so even if I wanted to go to the surf side and cast way out, um, we can do it. I got a three quarter ounce weight, so it shouldn't be a problem. It's not windy, so it should be good. that you guys we're, we're gonna go surf side just right to the left of me get on the beach give it one more cast here and uh, fish this area some more Let's get on the beach. Um, on another one, you guys. Went for a nice little run. Got another Corbina here. Pretty heavy though. Hopefully it's not a ray. Feels like it's swimming like one. Eight oh five baits, you guys. Yeah, feels like a bat ray, you guys. We'll see. It just feels real dead and heavy. I hope it's not, man. I hate being looking at these things. Yeah, it's a baby. 
baby Ray. Let's get him over here so he's not gonna mess with anybody. All right, you guys, so, so far we've got a multi-species day, which are nice. I've got multiple perch, nothing too big, but we've got perch on the board. We got one Corbina and we got one bat ray. So we're gonna keep this going. I gotta work graveyards tonight, so I ain't gotta be back. I don't gonna be back to work for a while. So we're gonna keep going. This jetty's producing um, multiple fish here. I had to get the turn the camera off so I can concentrate on that uh, bat ray. It was a small one. And your chances of getting stung with those small ones are pretty high. So I had to make sure I pinned down his tail good and try to get that hook out of him. But he was safely released. And I had to change the battery in my GoPro. So, but we're out fishing again. Same bait, 805. The 805 custom baits. I, what I did with that last cast with that battery is I threw it really close to the jetty there on the right and I kind of just started working it really slow against the jetty kind of just like what I just did right now I had a really close uh, close one to the rocks and just kind of really slow dragging it and uh, that's how I got that um, that ray Be nice to get on another Corbina. There we go, you guys. Around again. Not even five minutes into getting back to fishing after releasing that and changing the GoPro and around again. So, we've got another little perch. Got a palm sized perch here, but. Shoot, man, we're catching fish. Better than being home. I love my family, but. Oh, there it goes. Sometimes I'm home and I'm just sitting there not doing anything. So, if I can be out in the water, I can. I will be. Tell you what, I, I really love this rod. Um, this Akuma Hawaiian Custom, this 107. And if you guys can find one, get one. This thing handles everything. It handles Carolina setup. It can handle up to a two ounce weight. It tosses out my uh, 110 Lucky Crafts. I can cast out the Battlestar 115s with this. It just launches it, very versatile rod, and it loads up on the fish real nice. I don't have to sit there and give it a big hard, you know, hook set or nothing. You know, it just it really loads up on the fish and does all the work. You know, so can't if I had my chances to get an, I do actually do have my chances to get a, my hands on another one, and I'm gonna take up that opportunity. Um, but yeah, if you can find one, get it. it it'd be, uh, it's well worth it. And it's uh, super cheap in my opinion, compared to a Phoenix and all that. You can probably pick one up brand new for about a hundred and twenty to hundred and thirty dollars. So yeah, if you can find it, get it.
go getting a bite there. Round again, you guys. Another little guy. But these perch are fun to catch. <laughs> 